In the proportions section of our algebra course, we have to learn first the fundamental rule of proportions, which means cross multiply. A proportion is always formed from two fractions with an equal sign in between them. What you do to apply cross multiplication is you multiply the top of the left fraction by the bottom of the right fraction. Then you put your equal sign and you multiply the bottom of the left times the top of the right. This converts your equation which has fractions into an equation that only has one line and is easier to solve. In example one, we have a simple proportion with a single variable. Top times bottom means x times 28. We write 28x equals bottom times top means 7 times 8. 7 times 8 is 56. So we have 28x equals 56. Now, since our x is being multiplied by a 28, we divide both sides of the equation by 28. These cancel, and we have x isolated. And 56 divided by 28 is equal to 2. We have our answer. In example two, we have a slightly more complicated looking proportion because our variable is part of a little algebraic expression here in the top left, x plus 1. But we still apply cross multiplication. Top times bottom means 6 times x plus 1 equals. Bottom times top means 3 times 22. Simplifying, 6 times x, 6x. Six 6 times 1, 6 equals. 3 times 22, 66. We move the 6 to the other side. 6x equals 66 minus 6. Simplify. 6x equals 60. Our x is being multiplied by a 6, so we divide both sides by 6. These cancel. x is now isolated, and it's equal to 10. We have our answer. Now we move on to a slightly more complicated looking proportion. It has two variables that are both part of small algebraic expressions. We can still solve with cross multiplication. Top times bottom means 2 times x minus 3 equals. Bottom times top means 4 times x plus 2. Multiplying 2 times x, 2x. 2 times negative 3 minus 6 equals. 4 times x, 4x. Four, 4 times 2, 8. Let's get all of our x's on the left side. We have 2x minus 6. Moving the 4x over, we get negative 4x minus 4x equals 8. We can combine these x's. 2x minus 4x is negative 2x minus 6 equals 8. Moving the 6 to the other side. Negative 2x equals 8 plus 6. Simplify. 8 plus 6 is 14. Negative 2x equals 14. Finally, our x is being multiplied by a negative 2, so we divide both sides by negative 2. These cancel. x is equal to negative 7. We have our answer. You now understand the fundamental rule of proportions. Use your exercise sheet to practice all of the different types of proportion, and then use the answer key to correct your own work.